All right, it's uh, Tuesday, and I'm back on the uh, clay. I'm going to be working on the face of the uh, warrior today, and hopefully I'll get it to where I like it. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. Still not happy with those eyes. I'll redo them a little bit more. I will be going to the foundry this week. It's uh, there's a webcam that I can look at on uh, a live web webcam of the pass that I have to go over. It's still too slippery looking to try it now. It's supposed to get up in the 40s this week towards the end of the week. So I'm looking at probably Friday as a day for me to head over to Livingston, Montana, which is going over that pass. I'm getting too old to uh, attempt to drive bad roads. And uh, I just, I'm not the young buck that I used to be. I used to be afraid of nothing. A lot of times that would get me in trouble. <laughs> but uh, I'm an old scaredy cat right now. You get to be a certain age, you start being real thankful for every day that you're blessed to be able to get out of bed. Okay, let's try to get the other eye to look good too. That doesn't look too bad. That's probably the best I've gotten so far. Yeah, we got a southerly wind, which usually indicates that we're getting warm weather coming. And that's a good thing.
what I'm going to try to do is create a buffalo headdress. There weren't that many warriors who were allowed to wear a buffalo headdress. They had to be, to be the bravest of the brave. And uh, so therefore that's why you don't see too many old photographs of Native Americans wearing buffalo headdresses. There just weren't that many that were allowed to wear them. Put in the back part of the uh, skin of the buffalo headdress. I'm doing is I'm waiting for the uh, clay to soften up so that I can do the headdress and uh, I'll be right back okay I've got the clay real soft so I can get a t particular te texture to it I don't want to get too much of a texture because then it would be hard to make a mold of and get it cast but I want a little bit of texture so I'm I put the uh, light bulb real close to the clay in the hopes that I can get some real soft clay here to work with you gotta be careful because the clay doesn't want to stick to the cold clay So you gotta manipulate a little bit. All right, I'm gonna put Ronsonol on his face to smooth it out a little bit. As I've told you before, Ronsonol has something in its makeup that literally melts the clay. Not a lot, but just enough to smooth it out.
This is going to be the last thing I do today. I'm going to do a little research tonight on buffalo headdresses and uh, try to make this as interesting as possible. The reason I went with the uh, buffalo headdress instead of a full war bonnet was because of uh, the cost of uh, casting a war bonnet would be prohibitive, especially when you think about the uh, society staff or the uh, chief's flag that he's going to be carrying with feathers on it. I've already got a lot of feathers that are going to be on it. And uh, so I've got to draw back a little bit on what my idea was so that uh, I can make this uh, a little more affordable. It's going to still be very expensive to reproduce, but I like this uh, headdress. Um, it's just a matter of where to put the feathers on the uh, headdress and what to put on the sides of the uh, headdress hanging down and that stuff all anything that will help in, make it interesting to look at also uh to uh tell more of a story all right everybody and uh i'll uh see you next time oh yeah i've already said something about me going to livingston it's probably gonna be friday so i'll see you tomorrow guys Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.